it's still chipping up a little bit more. I'm just using a flathead. And if it chips, it chips. Um, so I really don't want to put it on and just have it chip off again. Oh, that's a big chip. I don't know if I need to keep going that much. It's real bad. Well, I'm going to try to chip it to where it's on a flat surface, like here. I want it so that it's not right on a bend, because I know that'll be a weak point. So if I can get it like center center of the rib back here, I mean, this seems pretty solid up here, but that, that just flaked right off. But you can see, yeah, there's a bunch of scum on the metal. I don't think I cleaned the metal good enough. Words of advice, prep is everything. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a close up of that. So that's how much I chipped off of it. So all the other edges aren't lifting up at all anymore, so I'm confident with that. So I'll just sand it down so these edges aren't so sharp. And then uh, that'll be good. But you see, see that dirty metal? I think that's why I started chipping or flaked real bad right there. It was because it wasn't clean. So surface prep is everything. All right, so now the sanding. Actually, I'm going to go around, see if I can chip any of these other uh, spots easily like that. And do that real quick. So I was just thinking, scratch resistance. I'm going to be recoding this anyways, just a standard flathead. I'm going across the boat and wherever there's just like surface scratches, I'm scratching off the old paint. So, but as you see this, it takes a good amount to get that, to get that going. But, That one's actually pretty good. I don't need to worry too much. But I've just been going across like this, getting up some of that stuff that's sort of peeling, but not really. Just scraping off the old stuff. But. You get some scratches, but. Chipped the majority of it that I can. So now I'm just gonna sand it. Two twenty. Sand. Alright, so hand sanding was getting uh, way too slow, so I just want to speed it up. Um, random orbital sander worked great last time. Last time you could probably use a paint stripper of some sort. Go to that video and look down in the description. There's a bunch of cool ways that you can remove the paint rather than sanding that whole thing down. Um, I'll go ahead, go back to that video, look at all of them, and I'll put them in the description of this video if you'd like. Uh, so I'm just going to use this orbital sander 220 grit and just sand this down real quick just to give it a good scuff. Then I'm going to wipe it down with a wet rag and let it dry completely and then we'll start putting the wetlander top coat on. And again if you use any of the links in the description, they are affiliate links. So that means that I would get a kickback for anything that is bought through those links.
flaps than our squeaky flip flaps. So they're definitely baggy good, that's for sure. So, easier too. Easier too. What lander slicky slidey. Um, gonna shake it violently and figure out what we need our measurements to be. Uh, figure out half and half. Uh, you'd ideally pour this whole thing into this whole thing. I don't think there's room in the top of this to do that, like enough uh, volume to fit this whole thing in here. Maybe there is, I don't know. But um, last time I did half and half, and maybe I didn't measure it half and half, and that's why I'm getting a lot of peel up, I don't know. But um, maybe I'll open this up, see if I can see how much is in here, and if I can pour this whole thing in here, that may work out best. Um, it says the pot life on it, is one hour that's your working time to get it on the boat and it does thicken pretty quick um, as you progress on so 30 minutes it's gonna be pretty thick once you get to that one hour it's gonna be uh, tacky almost I would think it's gonna become a glob because it got real thick on me very quick and I was glad I did half and half so I'm gonna read the instructions again make sure I'm gonna do this right because I want to get good adhesion and I'm never about wasting anything so I want to make sure that it'd be nice if I could pour this whole thing in here and not waste a container but we'll see I think this time I'm just going to do one. I'm just going to mix all of this into one container. I'm not going to split it, I'm just going to go for it. So one container, I'm going to pour both of these into it, stir it up real good, and then just start coating. Uh, multiple thin coats is best instead of one big sloppy one coat. Do multiple coats, I normally split the boat in half, start at the furthest point from you in the center, work towards you, so do this half and then work on that half. Once I get done with one half, it's normally good to do the other half. So what I decided was uh, carry this paint line down to the original because the paint wasn't sticking too good to the wetlander. And um, so I just kept it the normal line that it was and I just went just below it. And um, I just followed the original paint line all the way around. So the transom staying the same, just a quarter inch around the, the transom and then up at the front where the, the bottom ends. Um, so I went ahead and sanded down here too because I originally only sanded up here but the tape wasn't sticking so I couldn't get a good uh, tape line there so I just brought it down to the original paint and sanded all the way down, wiped it down, uh, letting it dry now and then um, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything and I want to try to do it in one shot do uh, the whole gallon mix together and go for it and see how it goes uh, I think it should do good, I'm hoping my only thing is I hope it doesn't cure too quick and that's the only thing I'm worried about um, it should cure quick enough on here because it's it's warm out right now I think it's about 80 degrees so I'm gonna start mixing and going I'm just gonna do a time-lapse because I want to make sure I get it done <laughs> 